Well, the overall goal of this project is to map where the giant hogweed is in Latvia and model the spread of giant hogweed so we can expect where it will go in the future with the long-range goal of controlling it so that we can help uh, government agencies figure out where uh, the most important places are to get rid of giant hogweed. Because, of course, since giant hogweed is so dangerous, we particularly want to get rid of giant hogweed if it's near a high population so that people are not at risk. Back there, there's a whole empty patch. Maybe we should stop right here. You see that? Like back there, it's like a field with something different. So if we have, if we stop here, we know we've got all. Oh, okay. Like this goes out to here, but it stops over there. Sure. Yeah? Absolutely. Okay, I see all this here was a, a cleared field. If you noticed, as we came up, lots of little hogweed there. I think they were plowing it or get, trying to get rid of it. So what I'm doing is uh, called remote sensing. Um, it's remote sensing because it uses satellites. Satellites are not in contact with the Earth, and they're sensing the Earth remotely from a distance. It's waiting. We have to wait for the satellites to get in good orbit. You got a few points already? Though? There we go. Yeah. I'm up to 50. Good. The, uh... Ooh. It'll only take if we're within five meter accuracy. Okay. You think this might have been one of the uh, fields that they were using to farm the Latvani? Yeah, actually, it really, it could be. It's very likely. Good point. Because it really looks like a big farm, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Actually, we didn't go all the way to the third corner because it looked too dangerous to go into the weed there. So the fourth corner is really here, about 30 meters away from that point. And on screen, we can find the fourth corner of this plot. So this is all giant hogweed. So the one image I have now is in this area here. Maduana is in the southeast corner of the image. The reason I chose that image is First of all, Maduana is uh, a center of giant hogweed. A lot of the most giant hogweed in Latvia is found near that area because it was actually introduced in Maduana and in Cesis as some uh, at farms back in the 1950s, I believe, when uh, they decided to actually farm giant hogweed for cattle feed. That didn't work out well because the cattle meat and milk tasted like the plant, which tastes like anise, a licorice taste. Uh, I'm using an image called an aster image, and the uh, resolution is 15 meters by 15 meters. That means that each pixel on this image, taken from space, each pixel represents 15 meters on the ground by 15 meters, like a square pixel. So the main goal that we have uh, this year is to, um, again, to find where the giant hogweed is in the satellite image. And in order to do that, we have two kind of sub-goals. One is called georectification, and one is called collecting ground truth data. So in order to georectify an image, we actually have to collect what we call ground control. And that is what we're going to do is we're going to go to a lot of uh, road intersections, big road intersections that we know are visible in the satellite image. Okay? We'll stand in the road intersections and collect a GPS point so we know the exact coordinates of that road intersection. We do that for places all around that, this image, okay? And then we find those road intersections in the satellite image, and we tie those points to the GPS points of where we were standing in the road intersection. So now we know the coordinates of each of these points. Then we can actually create a map out of the satellite image. Before it was just like a photograph with no coordinates tied to it. Now we're going to know actually where those coordinates are and where every point on the map is. So we are going to stand right here in the center of this road, right before the center of this road so we don't get hit by a car. What would you like me to write? Crossroads at Valmira? Valmira to Dikvi, or Zilais columns, either one you want. Okay. So that's the first goal, is to collect ground control points at road intersections that we can see in the satellite image. The second goal is to collect ground truth. Okay, ground truth is a different concept. What we're going to want to do later is train a computer program to recognize different kinds of land cover in this satellite image. We want to get corners 
before the houses. We don't want the houses in the field, right? So there's two over there, and it's long. It's quite long. Before that tree over there. Yeah, before that tree, and in front of this house, and then we can go all the way to the edge where the field goes. Yeah, we just don't want to go too far that way and catch all that other material in there. We want only the overgrown field, right? You have the number already, or? Yeah, it's R zero seven two one two. And uh, we just want to make sure we get the correct number of the GPS uh, point that Stuart's taken. So we're gonna check that in a second. You about ready? Got five more seconds. Okay. What's the number? R zero. Seven two one two zero A. That's what it's zero A. Okay. Then the computer will start to understand what fields look like in the satellite image. And then we can tell it now find all the colors that are similar. So we find all the fields in the satellite image. We do that for every land cover type. The computer can then learn what each land cover type looks like and we do what's called classify the satellite image. And that way we'll figure out what the land cover is throughout the whole satellite image, but particularly we'll find out where the um, giant hogweed patches are. This image is only going to be able to find some of the giant hogweed patches. Um, the very small patches I don't think the image will be able to uh, see because the pixels again are 15 meters by 15 meters. If there are only two plants in that pixel, uh, we're not going to be able to recognize it as giant hogweed. And that's why we have the other aspect of this pro uh, program which is what we did last year to have uh, students go around Latvia and find giant hogweed patches to take coordinates of it, particularly of these small patches that we can't see in the satellite image. So between the two methods, I hope to find, um, well, a majority of the giant hogweed we can find in Latvia. Okay. Uh, seven two one two one A. Got it.